Now we are going to determine the resistance and the specific resistance of the material of the given wire and verify the loss of resistance. For this experiment we need battery, plug key, resistance box, high resistance, galvanometer, meter bridge, jockey, screw gauge and connecting wires. Meter bridge consists of three copper strips M, N and D of negligible resistance fixed on a wooden board. There is a gap between M and N strips or Z1 and Z2. A metal wire is joined between P and Q with the help of binding screws. It is stretched over a meter scale. The P terminal of the battery is connected to P point of meter bridge. The N terminal of battery is connected to one end of plug key. The another end of plug key is connected to Q point of meter bridge. The unknown resistance wire is connected to Z1 gap. The resistance box is connected to Z2 gap. In the middle strip of point, D is connected to one end of high resistance. The another end of high resistance is connected to N terminal of table galvanometer. The P terminal of table galvanometer is connected to sliding jockey. After connecting the wires, switch on the battery. Now put the jockey in contact on P starting point on left side. The galvanometer indicator moves towards right side. Now put the jockey in contact on Q point of right side. The galvanometer indicator moves towards left side. Now connect the high resistance to the circuit. Now switch on the battery and remove 2 ohms resistance from the resistance box. Now press the jockey at various points in the wire until galvanometer shows zero deflections. Now at this point 19.3, we get zero deflections in the galvanometer. Now attach the two wires like this. Now connect it to Z1 gap. Now switch on the battery and remove 2 ohms resistance from the resistance box. Now press the jacky at different points on the wire till we get zero deflections. Now at this point 32.0 as L1 we get zero deflections in the galvanometer. Now attach the two wires like this in Z1 gap. Now switch on the battery and remove 2 ohms resistance from the resistance box. Now press the jockey at different points on the wire till we get zero deflections. Now at this point 9.5 as L1 we get zero deflections in the galvanometer.
screw gauge. It consists of U-shaped metallic frame. Thus frame consists of a hollow cylindrical knot on one side and metal stud S1 on other end. There is a screw S2 in the cylindrical knot. The screw S2 carries a milled head H attached to the cap C. The head is rotated with the help of device D. When it is rotated, the screw rotates to and fro in the knot. This line is called the index line or pitch scale. The circular periphery of cap C consists of 100 equal divisions and this is called head scale. For this, the head is rotated until the flat end of the screw S2 touches the plane surface of the stud S1. Do not apply excess pressure. The S1 and S2 are in contact. The zero of the head scale perfectly coincides with the index line. Now fix the wire in screw gauge. 